mining. I'm going to set myself to available for the spectrum guide and set mining. I guess I did set trading. I want to get rid of trading. Well, yeah, I'll get rid of trading and miss, I'll leave miscellaneous. I am now available to help for the guide if I do this. I'm going to take out the star, no, the Mercury Star Runner with a rock. I think the rock is already in there. But first I need to... Oops. Go ahead and spawn that. I am on Shadow Gaming, so I have to lock in... Alt out when I want to do something on the... Actual PC. Star Runner. Uh, win alt m I need to make sure I can see chat for the notification I have to remember pad 10 I've had requests but they always time out before I see them because I don't get a notification so I keep looking at it I don't see where you can have a notification sent anywhere and if the off chance somebody ever follows me while I'm live I want to be able to chat with them because I can't see that either Sure the volumes are all down everywhere. And pad ten. I want to be able to chat. One more second. I've hit the wrong thing. There we go. Alright, remember pad 10. Make sure the volume's off over here. It is. And I believe I'm ready to rock and roll. Alright, Retro, I should have probably started the, the live after I got to the planet, but I am at CRUL1. It's like the closest station to Port Alisar Crusader. I was doing some prospector mining for Clontanium in the last stream. Make sure my helmet's on. It is. Shut off. It was fairly successful. I got. I couldn't get the hundred percent rocks that I wanted. I got a couple of hundred percent rocks for Quantanium, mostly seventy something. Put it in the refinery for a day and some hours. I'll do another stream when I. I might use this ship, or I might. You know what? I'll probably bring out the car. Good. There's a rock already in here matches the paint. Probably bring out the Karak tomorrow to get all my refined goods. I don't like starting... I don't like doing my cargo runs with my Quantanium unless I can be in a hangar. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock everything now so I don't forget to do it later. So the good thing with this ship, Mercury Star Runner, you can turn the sensors off shut the doors. Oh, a little bit of lag. And lock them. So when I get out of my rock, no one can get, well they can get in the ship but they can't go do anything. Just lock everything. And then when I leave I'll lock this door. I don't think I've ever used, have used an elevator since like day one. Same this one, sensor off. And I'll leave this one open for now. I 
hope they do this with all the ships. The Freelancer is probably the next one that's worse, or as bad. With so many doors. And then the Star Lifter. Shoot over to Ariel off of Hurston. See if I need any repairs or fuel. A journey worth taking. A journey worth taking. Oh, I guess I don't need anything. I need the star map to work. Engines, everything started up. Star map just loves to not work sometimes. Right click, double click, right click, left click. Give it a second. I am going to turn my heat signature down a little bit. As far as I know, that doesn't hurt the performance of the ship, but it does make your signature oh so less. And I'm going to, I really don't know why I bother turning on, oops, not that one, overclocking my ballistic weapons, but you never know, I might be able to hurt somebody as I try to escape. Never, ever know. All right, let's try the, good, it works. All right, so it was worth it. So I think I'm actually going to also save myself at Everest before I go to Ariel. Or Launch. Love this little ship. Ooh, I can't hear it though. I want to put a ticket in for that. I can't hear the engines. Thank you. And please visit again. That's kind of wacky. Sometimes you just hit B and nothing happens. You have to like fly to the side and back in and let it recalibrate. Like nothing's happening now. Sometimes you have to get out of the seat and turn off the engine. Here we go. My apologies. Probably should have started this stream after I was already there, but. Not so bad. It's part of the game, we're going to entertain ourselves on long treks once Stanton is not the only place to be. Hope they find that sweet spot between this is a game and realism as far as quantum traveling. This ship is just awesome. Still afraid to get up right now because game likes to leave you behind when you get out of the seat sometimes. I guess I can show the my loadout. This is a running ship. Hence the name. It runs. Don't try to stay and fight. I almost just want to take the weapons off so I'm not not tempted to stay and fight. I took the weapons off of my um, off of my prospector. The lower rig signature. You're not going to do anything with a prospector. You, your best bet is to hope you see them before you, they see you and start running before they start shooting. If you're not, if your mining's not put away, you're not calibrating the jump, you're going to die. You have to be getting away because they will just shoot you for no reason. 
like I said in the other stream, I wish they would ask for money. You don't have to blow me up. You can play the game and make money off of miners without blowing them up. What am I doing? I got sidetracked. Oh, yeah. Can't really show you. Oh, yeah, I guess I can't show the insides. Didn't have to go over there. X01 is not stealth. I do that for speed. Probably should stealth it up when I'm going to stay close. Yeah, full stealth. All A1. A1 stealth products. Except for the Sukaran. That's military, but it's stealthy. A little extra edge. A little extra protection while you're getting up to speed. But it hides you while you're out there scanning. Helps hide you. Before I had two FR-76s, J-400s, 500s, whatever they are for the medium. Just putting out all kind of, here I am. Look how fast the XL-1 gets you there. Quantum travel complete. Now, we need to get to Everest. Yeah, when the game gets bigger, I will probably never use the X01. Probably go back to the standard that comes with that bowling. It takes forever and a day to get you anywhere, but it practically gives you fuel. Still can't jump. Hit B, go back. Whoa, wrong button. Now we're going to see if we're going to overshoot. Almost every time I overshoot Everest. Someone called it Everos. Everest. It's like Mount Everest. Travel. Oh my god, I didn't Quantum overshoot travel. it. Complete. So I'm just going to fly in. Man, I don't know what it is about being on camera and makes your nose itch gonna fly in and call ATC just so I can be hearthed here. <laughs> so when I die I'll always come back to Everest. So I don't need to go back to CRU1 for over 24 hours. So I did the slowest refining with the high yield. So I'm kind of bored of I thought I seen somebody asking for help. Nope. I'm kind of bored of bounties, even though bounties pay the most with no risk. It just gets a little boring. So I'm going, I did the prospector mining earlier, so now I'm going to do rock mining. F11, call Everest. As soon as you get a call back, I assume you have to wait for the call back before you're saved there. Little landing thing lights up right there in the middle. You can just F2 and go F2. Uh oh, that's not a good sound. You hit F2 and something else comes up. It's not a good thing. Oh, uh, the map, the map. Let me turn the chat back on to make sure we're not having an error message. F2. I should be able to see area without the map. So when you can't pull up the map, you gotta find your destination. I'm getting rid of F12 and get rid of chat. So that's her also. The moons are always a circle. The planets and the moons are a circle. Unfortunately, they're all the same size when you look for them. So that's a moon of Hurston. I'm looking for Ariel, so I can just follow this and Look for a circle. Hopefully it's on I'm not on the opposite side. That's where I just came from, Crusader. The planet. This might be up as that's Eda, so I might be on the wrong side to go to Ariel. All the way to Microtech, so that means I gotta jump out. This might be Ariel. Nope, Aberdeen. So that means Ariel is over here. I think it's right there. Ariel. So I'm on the wrong side of the planet. So since the star map won't take me to an uh, orbital marker, OM, to get there, I have to find my own orbital marker. Lock onto it. It's a 
Supposedly they got the star map working for Ibukati in 3.14. It works, it just doesn't always work. 20-30% of the time you have to do this. And then, you have to find Ariel again. <coughs> Hopefully in the future you will never have to alt to do this, you just put it in. The game doesn't like to put two orbital markers together, usually, when you're trying to map your trip. So, when mining with a rock, stealth out like. Don't, unless you have to pick up your rock from the moon if you don't already have it. Don't go to Bezdek or any other outpost to mine. Mine on the sunny side, Latham's the other one. Don't go there, just be patient and head down to the planet. Moon, rather. It takes a few minutes. As soon as you see the longitude lines pop up, uh-oh. I'm getting lag. Yeah. Just pull off the throttle. I used to hit cruise control, but I've had a lot of lag. And since I play on Shadow, if it locks up, Shadow's still working, the game's still working, but my computer and Shadow stop talking, and it just locks up. And if you got cruise control on, I will just hit the planet. And that If you crash... Not disconnect, just crash. Whatever's happening in the game will continue to happen. So if you got cruise control on, you're gonna smash. At least now, if I disconnected, my finger, the game will think I took my finger off the throttle and I will just float. As long as I don't get too close. I should, like, set a stopwatch next time I come out of QT to see how long it takes me to get to where I need to turn it off. Oddly enough, this is the one ship that I have come out full speed, start looking at chat, forgot my fingers on the throttle, and by the time I looked up, I was probably 10 feet from crashing, and I just bounced. I don't think the ship took any damage. It was like three credits to repair it, like when I just left. And the rock wasn't destroyed either. So there's that. See, now I just. I'm hitting the atmosphere 28,000 feet up. I should have came in at more of an angle. Because now I'm kind of coming a little too hot. I may have to go back up. Yeah, I'm coming in too hot. 12,000. I'm not coming in that hot. Alright, you gotta get to within some speed. I would go in further, but like I said, I have a lot of lag, and I like to... I like to crash and come back dead. Sometimes it takes the last signal it received from your keyboard and just keeps on doing it. Come in on the daytime, day side, when you're going to do some mining. That goes for the prospector too. Don't mine at night on the dark side of the moon. More people will be looking for you. Murder dog. I guess I can turn off the quantum drive now. So I mostly only mine on head night. I think Aberdeen and possibly... Oh, what's that moon called by a crusader? Damar, Damar maybe? Delamar, Damar? May have more head and night? May have more head and night than Ariel, but... I seem to get more trouble on crusader with real people. So I stick over here and Aberdeen is just too mountainous. If you mine on the mountainside, the diamonds are all... The head and night will just roll downhill. It's hard to get the rock to stay steady, so Ariel's nice and flat mostly. Come down, set it 
low speed, get under a thousand feet. So I think you need to be within 800 to a thousand meters from the the head night nodes. Well, the nodes that the rock can see. Dick. I'm already within proximity warning. I get down low, I get slow, and I will try to just go in a straight line. So where's the sun? Which is kind of hard when the sun is straight up. It's going to straight low. Yeah. I try not to double back. And I stay away from outposts. The guys that usually pirate or they say if you're within 100 miles of an outpost, 100 kilometers, they'll come look for you. The ones in the boxes are usually not had night or not the small mining ones. I think I'm going too slow. I think I can go at least SCM speed. See, I'm right clicking and nothing's happening, so there's lag. So you want to go slow, and you want a short box to pop up, but I'm going to go over here and see if it turns into a rock or is it going to turn into gems. Usually you'll see like a little dot within that little box, and that means it's going to be a rock, which you don't really want, but you don't want, not really want, you don't want a rock. Your rock doesn't like rocks, your rock's like little nose, see, and that turned into a rock, so... Try to go in a straight line back to where it was. There's a lot of lag. It's bad. I may not keep doing it because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to find some head night and the rock's not going to be able to pick it up. This is really bad. It's choppy. I'm going to call this one. This See, this one wasn't even getting picked up. That's why you got to go slow. The scanner just doesn't get it. Going slow. God, it's so bright. I can't tell how many there are there. I think there's two. Yeah, there's two. I usually don't stop for less than four or five. And I don't get anything but had night. What was that? Aggro? Up or right? It's had night or nothing, man. The other two, there's half, there's, I forget the names, it's this one and another one. There's something night, they're not worth getting. They're, they're harder to mine and they're worth half as much. And they're not even as plentiful, so if you just keep going slow and waiting, you'll get a note, big note of five or ten of them. That might not even happen today. It's just bad with the lag. Alright, I gotta go check the router. Make sure it's moved now. I can't. Pause it. Hopefully no one messes with me. One second. I'll be back.
stream. I'm probably gonna restart. it out so it's not getting blocked uh, not a good show oh no don't die let's F1 and alt out double check double 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 check it might be time to not rent the router modem from where do we get that from Xfinity it might be time to like buy a real one I think it's 120 bucks to rent it for a year probably get a decent I don't know quote unquote gaming modem for that router modem and that one is not VPN friendly. It's older. Okay, back over here. Lock back down. F1. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I need to scan. See, I'm right clicking. Barely getting anything. I don't know how bad that affects scanning. Let's. I don't know if that's part of the desync issue or not. Or it's just me being laggy because I have a crap connection sometimes. So I know sometimes I'll scan the same spot two or three times, and every once in a while, the third try, I'll get a hit. Not a lot, but sometimes. And it doesn't look like I have anybody requesting help. It is a holiday weekend, so it's a nice, here we go, it's a nice cool night for fireworks. Probably shouldn't be in myself, but I really oh, I thought I had some had night or something. Yeah, it's very laggy. I don't have YouTube on Shadow and my PC, do I? Hug. One sec. Let me make sure I turn off the other use. Something is slowing me down. Nope, nothing's on except the music. Can't turn off the music. That's who I didn't tag. I didn't tag Harris Heller for my music. Oops. What all can you see? Yeah, all this free music is. What's the word? You won't get a flag. You won't get flagged for copyright. He gets paid by use. All right. Rock mining. So there's nothing running within Shadow except YouTube Music and one web page, the rock web page, or the mining web page. I just lock that. I got OBS running on the actual computer and an instance of YouTube so I can chat. Oh, and I, I forgot, yeah, and I have the guide up in case somebody needs help rock mining or mining. But if 
I was skimming, oh, skimming through, I don't know if I would watch this video. I hate to, but I am so desperate. I might stop for, no, that's in a rocky area. It's had night, but it's not flat right there. I'm getting turned around. It's not worth stopping for less than four of the bare minimum you should stop for. Unless you're like, you have a little bit of room after you got a big haul and you want to just get one more. And you're done for the day. It's definitely faster to go turn in what you have and come out and get another ten nodes together. That's what you really want. You want like eight or ten nodes or more together. Typically these tall ones just have regular rocks that you can't mine, the Prospector rocks. Man, I keep right clicking and nothing's happening sometimes. Oh, see, that one's little, but it's still a rock. I can't see in there. It's so bright. Some people can see the rocks in there before they get up there. I can never see them until I'm there. See, that turned into a rock. Like, that one's probably got a rock in that square that I can't see. <coughs> yeah, but it's a rock. Oh, but see, then these popped up. That those weren't popping up before. So these these are two rock mineable gems, more than likely. These two right here. Gotta get in close. That's gotta be perfect. If, those, if that's had night. And it's not. It's still worth some money. It's probably, I don't know, 20, 30,000 there. Maybe. No, maybe not that. But it's harder to get. It's I, I, I haven't mined it in a while, but the last time I did, I remember it as being a pain in the butt. Now, if this is had night, this is where what I'm talking about. So left click over that, hold it on one spot. Try not to move it like I just did. There you go, had night. Look at that. There's like five, six of them there. Eight of them. Perfect. So just that's what I love about the MSRE. I can see right below. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. And I've gotten in the habit now where I just get this and I'll go sell this right as is. Lower my landing gear. So I guess I'm not a big if I said that this this stream or not. I'm not a big credits per hour person. I just want to make some positive money. Oh, I'm too close. I love the MSR more than the Cuddy because you can be a little rougher with it. I, since I do play with a lot of lag on an older system, I tear the Cuddy up when I try to land it a lot. Like that would have probably dropped the engine off on the cutty. There may, that door takes one hit and it won't open. Perfect. See, no one's out here. I'll leave this down as I get out. I highly recommend, I'll pull it up for an hour. I highly recommend changing your key bindings. That's what I need to put in the. My little search will go into key bindings and go into flight cockpit and open and close door semicolon. I did the same thing for not the exact same thing, but I did the same close to the same thing for missiles that I don't see. Oh yeah, missiles. Apostrophe. Just to get through the missiles really fast when you got a bunch of different kinds of missiles to shoot. This makes mining a lot faster. Well, a little faster. Over time, a lot faster. Did I turn the engine off? I did not. Get out of the seat. This is where locking those doors comes in handy. Because 
with all your stealth, you never somebody can still accidentally find you. Accidentally. But now they can't do anything with your ship if you lock it. But typically, uh, you gonna shut? Is it really that much lag? I can't even shut the door. Man. Now they can't take your ship. They really just want your rock. Or they want what's in it. Well, actually, you know what? They do want your ship. So they might just kill you, but I'd rather be spiteful and let them kill me and not get anything than uh, let them have my ship. Oh, yeah, it's Ariel. It's really hot. Got a suit up. I should probably. You know what? I don't care. If I get got, I get got. Don't do this. Don't leave the door open. Typically, I fly with the stuff on, but uh, and like I said the other stream, I need to get used to not having heavy armor on all the time when you're flying a ship because you just won't be able to. It doesn't, it doesn't even make sense to fly in a ship with what I'm about to put on. The Nova Pembroke. Oops, I messed up. I don't want to do that yet. Take that off. So, go back out, go back in. So, I think I got a couple of waters in here too. So, when you're changing, it's usually better to take off what you already have on. You don't really have to, but take it off, save it. Save, okay, it's saved. Won't be able to do this soon either. Leave a door open with no suit on. I mean, there's oxygen here. It's just really hot out there. I'm going to take a swig of water. One thing I hope they don't fix anytime soon is when you leave water on your ship and log out and back in. Oh, now you're going to let me drink it? Did I speak too soon? Or is it just lagging? Oh, it doesn't fill back up. Is it empty? Well, it used to fill back up when you logged out and logged back in. I don't know if it's just lag or just doesn't do that anymore. Well, never mind. I didn't think I even... Oh. Never, it's just... It's lag. It's lag. Because sometimes you don't even get the animation and you still drink. So I should be full. And... I have to just drop it. There's still a bug when you're not wearing a helmet and you try to place it, you just drink. It still stays right there. Look at that, boom. But now I'm not thirsty anymore. And if you stay out in the heat, your thirst goes up faster and faster, even in the suit I'm about to put on. So we're gonna put on the Pembroke. We'll pass the Novaca. Novaca is for cold weather. Negative 225. Pembroke. Hot weather. I already got my helmet. I should have a rifle with it too. I'll save it. Before this patch, like the patch before this one, I think, maybe the two before, it was still too hot for this suit. You had to come out, come back in and cool off a little bit after like 10 and 15 minutes. Now they made it where you can stay out indefinitely in this suit. But they still got to do some work with the. Med pen. You can only carry one. <coughs> got my weapon. Probably unless there's a loner comes after me, I'm gonna get got. But I uh, got my weapon. And, but they still they left this here, like all the other suits, and you can't put anything here. So I don't know if they're gonna give you two spots over here, or they just they goofed. As long as you get one, you have a fighting chance. When I say fighting chance, maybe you can take one of them with you. Alright. Anyways, they wouldn't get me now. They wait till I'm done mining. Unless they just want to kill you. Uh, I, I usually just open it without getting in. I think that there was a bug that if you got in it, it wouldn't start. Stuck in it. it, wouldn't let you back out, but it looks like it's on and it's running. So I have, I think I have zero hat night, and I think I sold it from last time. So 
So hit M, bring up the little thingy. And on the left, top left of it says cargo 0%. Right there. So there's no head knife. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nodes. Let's see what eight nodes, how much that's worth. Let's go ahead and get all these. Just want to go in full power right off the bat. Get to that optimal zone, that little green zone. So far, there's no extra attachments for the rock. Nothing like on the prospector to make it easier, get more, make it faster. Most of the time, this is easier. With the lag, it's way trickier. It, wants to, it falls out of the bottom way faster than it used to, and then it'll jump straight through the top. It's a pain in the butt. He's got to keep power critical. Power critical. And now they scatter more. They used to just stay packed together. I guess this is more realistic. But, even with the lag, it picks it up way faster than it used to. Switch back over to Fracture. Still getting the optimal range. You want, I think you just want to be able to see the entire ring system. I'm going to take a bite of a brownie. When it falls to the bottom, it's a pain in the point. It's been a lot of improvements to the rock. Of course, sometimes it doesn't like to pick up instantly. But, it doesn't roll around anymore. And when it does start picking up, it picks it up fast. starts up, but it's dangerous because I don't know if it's just not registering or it's not doing it. Oh, my nose loves to itch when I go live. Try to get in that sweet spot. It's like a visual clutch. Like when you're learning to drive a stick. You're trying to stay in that little middle spot when you're switching gears. Look at this lag. It won't even... I want to back up. I'm like afraid it's going to blow up. Blow up. What the heck is going on? It's bad. If I can get all these rocks, I'm going to turn them in and I'm going to be done mining. Are we 30 can? Orange the way. No one's saying we're 30 can. I guess I could pull up the little... That's bad. I, I've never seen it do this. I've seen it not register and blow up. I need another brownie. 
so yeah. This is a first. Usually mining is really fun and relaxing. I, I love rock mining and I love prospect mining. And there we go. Now, do I have product? I do. Can I pick it up? That was a lag spike, I hope. Now imagine it's doing that while you're mining. When you come out of that, you're just dead. Or all messed up. Rocks blown up. When this game works, it's so much bloody fun. You can just get by these little hiccups. I just can't imagine how great this game's gonna be when we have eye cast server meshing and no desync. Those that alone, like yes. You can't lose anything when it does mess up. But it'll hardly mess up. Don't fall to the bottom. It's better to speed wise to go a little bit into the red than to fall uh, even a tiny bit out of the bottom. Because usually, if you get back in, I, especially with lag, I'm just gonna stop mentioning lag. It'll just take you right through the top. Eight nodes, this is three. Watching me right now, they wouldn't, they're not gonna get me until I go back into the ship. Usually, like when I watch those guys, I forget the name of that squad, something squad, like hyena squad or something. I forget. They like wait till you're done because they need your rock in the ship or they have to take it out of your room. It saves them time, I guess. Oh, what am I doing? Once you're on the ship. I just shoot you. Alright. I really don't like when it does that. Because I don't know if it's registering it or just not showing me the animation. Ugh. Overheating? What was that? It's 
so weird, and it'll just start working. I can barely see that line. When this is working, it's so efficient. Well, good brownies. But it's not working right now. Fracturing mode on. Extraction mode on. See how when it's going, it works perfect. 60% of the time, it works every time. I have to imagine the game always doing that. I know everyone's gonna be happy when there's more than 50 people in the server, but... Oh no, what did I just hit? I just hit something with my foot. I barely touched the core with my foot and the screen went out. And my mouse is in a different spot. Pull feet back and don't touch anything. So it's kind of like um, quantum drive traveling. Move to the left or right, put it back on, and it might work the next time. Or you might do it again. The age of question, is it lag or is it resistance? Ah, I fell on the bottom. minutes of good luck. You pick this up and then fly. And I usually don't fly to Bezdeck or Latham, but I might because I feel like I don't know what I, I don't know if it's me or the server that's doing this. I should turn on that system info and see how the server's actually doing. Eight note pays. That's it. Fracture mode on. I don't see 
any other gems floating around. You stay in mining mode with him. And if there was a loose gem somewhere, you'd see it. But there's not, so. I mean, there's no way to know if anybody's gonna jack you, I guess. I don't think I've ever tried this. Ooh, that one's way slower. Oh wow, it's got some distance too. Now, I wonder... Oh, hell no. I've never really tried to look for nodes while I was scanning in the rock. I wonder if it only finds rocks it can scan, or it can mine. I'm not about to roll 2,000 meters, though. It's not going to let you scan from 2,000 meters what it is. Maybe. No. They're all too far away. That one's kind of close. This thing falls over way too easy though. Looks like it was about to scan that one. I bet you it's just picking up whatever. It would make too much sense. They put the same scanner on it. It doesn't just scan the things it can actually pick up. Alright, if I got got, this is when they're going to get me. Even I don't think it's worth getting me for a quarter load. <laughs> no one knows I'm mine. No one cares. Really? The water got jostled around? See, when you, um, not when you have your helmet on. Oh. I don't know what the hell was just about. I guess it's kind of a cheat. It's not your fault that the water fills up, though. It's a part. I mean, considering the ships are supposed to probably produce their own water anyway, they can make their own hydrogen, they can make their own water. You can't carry crates of water or have crates of water shipped to you, so... So I'm going to pretend... Oh, it does have a safety box on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend I'm gonna change clothes now. No, you know what? I'm gonna start with a different rest stop. So again, we take off your undersuit. Take it off. Whoops, that's a med pen. I don't know why I did that. Save. Put your other undersuit back on. I think I was wearing a Twilight because it matches my favorite ship color. Crusader. Still got my pistol. Probably got to put this back on. I always keep one med pen on no matter what. You just never know where you're going to get a fucking a friggin blood hit. Start bleeding out. Hopefully with this patch, the med pen will always save you when you're bleeding out until they get the hospital stuff going. All right. So far, unmessed with. Unlock the door. Poop on. That's 
so nice that all the doors stay open now with a little love. I think I'm gonna go over to Ida or what's the other one, Meta? Less possibility of being after with over here. Pearl is my spot of choice. I was practically heading there anyway. I think Ariel has less atmosphere, so it's like I think you can land and take off faster, but. Man, it's a moon, it's not that bad. I think there's only diamonds here. But you know, as cheap as Laranite is right now, it might even be safer to go to Bezdeg. I just don't know. Take the cruise control off. My opinion never QT into a planet or a moon with your cruise control on. Especially if you have my ghetto connection. Oh, man. Here we go. Quantum travel complete. So we don't have a marker, so hit your F2. Set route again. It'll pop up your where you need to land. Hit B. Just tap it. Now you see your, how far away you are from landing. The moons, you typically land... Not typically, you always land way faster on a moon than you do on a planet. Less atmosphere, you come in hard. Which isn't that big a deal with a medium sized MSR. But bigger shift, even the medium sized um, Connie, man, you come in too hot. You won't do it again. Breaking one room, landing night side. I usually don't do that. But I'm kind of afraid of a 30k. You get close enough, you can hit F2 again and hit clear. It is more fun landing on a moon than it is in like her center 18. You don't have to third person land. You can actually see where you're going. I'm not a very good lander. I can't remember where the. Oh, it's right there. I love that I can see the bottom of the ship. The bottom of the. Out the bottom. I got an idea. Oh. Almost perfect, not quite. Sometimes the moon fills you up, gives you weapons. Uh oh, man, there's just a lot of lag. Guess I shot some ammo. Why you leave the doors open? You're gonna be getting in and out, especially if I was gonna keep mining, which I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna be done. I feel like I'm at an hour. If I'm over an hour, as I flew here, still close it, lock it. I'm hoping ever soon most ships will be able to do that, if not all. Now, if somebody gets in, they really can't do anything. Now, when the armistice zones are lifted, I guess they could shoot the place up, but 
hopefully there'll be like an armed response from NPCs. And I almost always, oh man, it is bad. I can't even shut this. No one's saying 30 yet. There you go. Man, it is really bad. I always close it before I leave. I do the same thing on the car. Just get in that habit. See, I'm wearing a flight suit. I'll be dead in 37 minutes. Less. Those are fast seconds. Wait. It says storage. That's where you want to go. That's where the terminal is. Any outpost or mining place will have one of these. It has mining or outpost in the title? I think it has a terminal and a landing pad. So 69. Oh, never mind. So they sell on diamonds. I can't remember the price of diamonds anymore. I think that's a good price. That's all they have left is 66. You can't, see, you can't even fill up an MSR with diamonds right now. So eight nodes gave me 65,000. Not even close to what bounty you can do, and that was like an hour. But then I left Cruel Run, flew all the way to Ariel, then came back out. I've been recording for an hour and 10 minutes almost. 60k, I did not worth it. Well, it is worth it, it's just not as lucrative as bounty hunting. But, I mean, like, I just bought a hammerhead, and I still, I just made back a few men. I'm already back to 30 million. I mean, it's about having fun and learning the game now. The money's not the money, unfortunately, it's hard to realize, is the least amount of what you should be worrying about in this game. Hopefully, the way they're going with reputation, that's where it's going to be at. Hopefully, they fix this dang on trade so I can. That's what I, I only mine so I can run cargo. Space trucking is what I want to do. Mining's fine. I'm glad it's a mostly complete ish loop. Definitely a few more things they could add. So, the waters take up room for um, the Yolos and SCU of space ish. I can't believe I can't buy diamonds. I mean, I could probably fill up on the rest of them. Wow, oh yeah, fluorine. Yeah, but I'm gonna make a few thousand. And I don't know the price of fluorine. 234. Third party sites have been off, so I'm not trading. Until they do something with trade, like purposely add stuff. You buy that. Give us some kind of real time ticker on our Moby Glass. I do want to trade though. And the main thing that I really hate about, you can't really fast trade. You have to get on a tram unless you want to go between. <coughs> it is, it's still not bad taking them. Um, I don't mind running scrap. Oh yeah. Don't run out of here. It's like some people get killed on their ships coming down their ramp. Sometimes there's something on these stairs. I always walk out of here. Out of all these outposts. Sometimes something hits you and you just, you just die. It's like you've been sniped. But you can't be sniped because it's a armistice. I did like the Cuddy. I've always loved my Titan, but this ship is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, and same thing on this. Don't, if you can remember, don't run and run on and off the ramps. Walk on and off. That's it. I think I'm going to. You know what? I'm going to log up on my ship. You know, no, I'm not. Because sometimes logging off your ship makes you. They said they fixed it, and I've been lucky. But sometimes you log off your ship, you have to reset. So far, I've been lucky, and I just have to like delete my user folder. 
All right, so that's a good hour long post. I think I'll run live again. I need to do bounties tomorrow live. And then the next day, I think I'll wait a day or two to run cargo. I'll put everything either on the C2 or the E. What's the name of that ship? My favorite ship. Everyone's favorite ship. Car. We're running on the car. That way, that ship takes damage, so when I lag into something or crash and hit the ground, it won't blow up. C2 blows up really easy. Okay, that's it. I am going to F1. I am going to stop this madness. Hope someone watches this someday.